Good morning, yogis. This is Steven from Yoga Works, live from my house in Johannesburg in South Africa. There's a good chance that a lot of us are a little bit uh, isolated or confined to a space that your plans and my plans have just been wiped out and cancelled by unforeseen circumstances. Some of us will have to work a lot harder. I'm thinking if you're in medical services, food supplies, but a lot of us will suddenly find ourselves with a lot of time on our hands and a more limited freedom. Your Easter holidays, your uh, events that you had planned are probably no longer possible. But today, we're going to focus on what is possible. And that is quite a lot as it turned out. So I'm going to be taking you through a one hour flow yoga class, which is called Feel Good. This is not the time to push harder and to set new targets for yourself that are nearly impossible. Today, we're going to flow just so it feels amazing in your body and in your mind. So if there's anything you can't do yet, then just skip it, take a little break, um, flow through this as easily and with your breath as possible. And just we're going to check in again at the end of the session just to see how you feel. I would recommend if you can grab if you can grab a strap or a belt or even a towel, which we're going to be using in one of the first yoga poses, that would be really handy. If you don't have one, we'll make a plan without this. So now let's get started. Come to your mat and for now, just lie down on your back. Just lie down on your back. Bend your knees a little bit and either you can let the knees drop in together or you can keep them parallel, whatever feels more comfortable for you. And then place one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly and just rest here for a moment or two. It might be nice to sigh the breath out a couple of times and just start to feel your whole body sink down into the mat more and more with every exhale. Use your hands to feel the movements of the breath. And without changing anything, just notice where does the breath go now. Is it more in the, the top of the chest, the rib cage? Or can you also feel a little lower down in the abdomen, maybe even into the hips and the pelvic floor? Now I'd like you to imagine you're filling up your body with breath from the bottom to the top on the inhale. So inhale from the belly to the shoulders as it were. And exhale out empty from the top to the bottom, so from the shoulders all the way down to your hips, just imagine. Inhale let the belly hand lift first and then the chest. Exhale, relax the chest first and then the belly softens. Do this a couple of times. Inhale, belly, lower rib cage, chest, shoulders. Exhale, rib cage, all the way down to belly, relax. Inhale, fill up bottom to top. Belly hand rises, chest hand rises. Exhale, feel the chest hand relax down and then the belly empty. Do two, two more rounds in your own time. One more round, there's no rush, take your time. And final exhale. Now grab your strap. 
or your belt or your towel. I'll show you an option in case you don't have any of these things. Now just lift the right leg up and place a strap around the ball of your foot and stretch the leg up. We'd like the, the knee to be straight, but if you feel a bit restricted in the back of this right leg, then you can always reduce the angle. So you might be here or wherever you end up, this is fine. You can always let the foot hang in the strap and it works best if your arms are straight. And then just go to a place where you feel a good bit of challenge in the back of that right leg without it becoming too stressful. And if you want to increase the demand slightly more, you can always straighten the left leg out on your mat. So we'll take a couple of breaths here. Just to invite some space into the back of that right leg, your hamstrings, a little bit calves and glutes. And then really simple, take both ends of the strap in your left hand and we're just going to turn all the way over onto the left side body. And there's a couple of options. Your leg can hover a little bit above the ground or in the space it can touch down. And then with the other arm, lengthen it away from you. Maybe cactus arm, bent elbow, or if you've got more space than me, maybe you could straighten that arm out to the right. And then just feel the opening, the, the outside of the right hip here. Also feel the twist around the axis of your spine. And it's, it's early on in our session, so we don't want to go too far. Just make this a gentle introductory stretch. Just to get moving a little bit, to check in with how the body feels this morning. And then slowly lift the leg all the way back up, release the strap, place the right foot down. We're going to swap to the second side. I'm just going to turn around so I've got more space to show you. So it's going to work like this. Left leg goes up, wrap the strap around the ball of the foot and stretch the leg up. It might be a little bit more forward as you know, just make a plan to work with your range of motion to with your what is available to you right now i like to hold one end of the strap in each hand and to straighten the elbows just a minimum effort to keep the leg up and then if you want a little bit more intensity stretch the right leg away if you do this it doesn't feel good then just go right back to the previous one just hang out here for a few breaths there's nothing much you have to do but ever so slightly, just press the heel and the ball of the foot up into the strap. See if you can relax the shoulders down. There's no need to hold tension in the shoulders, the neck and your face right now. And just direct a few breaths to whatever feels a little bit restricted at the moment. And then grab both ends of the strap in your right hand. We're going to turn all the way over to the right side body. Again, you can hover the leg or you can place it down, doesn't matter. And then left arm, maybe cactus arms. Or if you've got more space, straighten the arm out. Relax the shoulder blades onto your mat. And then ever so slightly kick the left foot out into the strap. Feel outer hip stretch, this IT band area. It's a little bit hard to get to in some poses. And then lift all the way back up. And place the strap off to the side. We're not going to need it for now anymore. Just bring the knees up into your chest. And then rock gently from side to side. Just feel your back, the spine, the muscles around the spine. And then come to center, align your knees directly above the hips, so about 90 degrees. I'm gonna drop both knees 
over to the right side. Again, you can spread out the arms if you need a bit of a kickstand for your legs. If this is too much, you can always wedge your fist under that right knee. A couple of breaths here. Again, we're not trying to go to our very maximum. We're just trying to warm up in a way that feels amazing for our body, in a way that feels sustainable, and you can do this for the rest of your life. And then come back to center, so knees stay about the hips, and drop both knees over to the left side. You can extend the right arm away from you. And I forgot to mention this on the first side, but you can also place left hand on the top knee, just to have a little bit more grounding there. Of course, your breath's gonna be a bit restricted, you're twisting the whole upper body but still direct your breath to whatever you find some space. And then slowly come to center. Again, bring knees into chest and then just rock up and down a couple of times. Rocking up and down the whole length of the spine. Let's do one more. And then come up to a seated position. I'll just turn forward so you can see me better. We're gonna come into easy pose, but I would rather call it simple pose. It's a very simple pose, but I wouldn't call it easy exactly. It's a bit of a hard setup. So just to do this, cross the shins down the middle. So usually our, our feet are way more closer together, but slide your feet more out to the side. See, my feet are under my knees more or less. And then pull the toes a little bit up towards your shins, so you get a little bit of engagement there. And then really simple, walk your hands forward until you feel a good stretch in the back of the hips. That's it. A couple of breaths here, we're stretching the outer hip, back of the hip area. And then just to make this a little bit more dynamic, lift the knees up towards your, your armpits and press the knees back down. Doesn't really matter how, how high or how much you move here, lift the knees up and press them down. We'll do two more, lift up and press down. One more, lift up. This time hold here, lift, lift, lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower the knees down, maybe even press them down a bit extra with the muscles in the outer hips, and then see if there's a little bit more space to soften in. Wherever you are, it might be all the way up here, depending on your uh, range at the moment. All of this is fine. Softening and grounding, this is one of the most important things we can do at the moment, probably at any moment. And then lift back up, I'm gonna come into a brief boat pose. So here we go, hold the backs of the thighs. Use this to roll the shoulders back, lift your chest up. If it's possible, have your shins more or less parallel to your mat. And then hold this pose, see if you can lift the chest a little bit more, roll the shoulders to the back. If you wanna try a little bit harder version, you can try and release your hands to the front and see if you can hold this balance. You'll feel there's a lot of work being done in your core, the front of the hips, the lower belly. That's exactly why we do this pose, of course. Hold for two more breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. One more, inhale, slow it down. Exhale, two, cross your other shin in front. So I had my left chin in front, which is the way I usually sit. Now we're changing it around to the one that is a little bit less comfortable. Again, shins cross down the middle. The shins are more or less parallel to the, the short edge of your mat or whichever way you're facing. Flex your feet, so pull the toes a bit up and then just walk the hands slightly forward. That's it. Walk slightly forward. Not until you can't breathe anymore and you're in uh, intense pain you're just walking forward until you feel 
this is a good challenge. This is interesting and I can work with this. Again, soften the breath, soften whatever you can. Make your hips and pelvis quite heavy, lengthening away from you at the back. And then just like we've done the first time, we're going to lift the knees up and lower them down. A couple more, lift up and lower down. Two more, lift the knees into your armpits, squeeze and then lower down. Last one, we're going to hold, lift the knees as high as they'll go. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, one, press the knees down or allow them to soften down and see if there's a little bit more space. Do not focus during this whole class how far you can go or you cannot go. You might even be completely new to all these yoga poses, so take your time. Let your body do what feels good and not what your mind wants it to do in the background. Nice. Slowly come back up. We're going to come into a cat and cow, or rather a, a tabletop stance. And do a few rounds of cat and cow. This one you probably know, so I don't have to explain a lot. Just very simply on the inhale, we're going to drop the chest and look up, arch your back. On the exhale, we're rounding the back, pushing the floor down with our hands, pull belly to chest. And then slide the belly out as the inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your back as much as you can, lift belly high. A few more, keep going with your rhythm of breath, it doesn't have to be the same as mine. Two more rounds, enjoy. Enjoy what your body can do, enjoy all the possibilities that still exist even in the confinements of your house or your apartment or wherever you find yourself at the moment and then settle in the middle a, a little bit of mild core work i would call it reach your left arm forward and when you feel ready reach the right leg back we're not trying to lift that right leg as high as possible this would not make for really good alignment rather focus on the strength of your core even if that right leg is a little bit lower that's fine and then stretch away to the front and to the back feel your core working in the center here to keep everything as stable as possible slow breaths yes even here if it's possible see how it goes and a couple of times bring elbow and the knee together left elbow right knee and then stretch them out reach a little bit longer Elbow to knee, inhale, exhale, let's do one more, inhale, exhale, nice, now bring right knee behind the left, right knee behind the left, and then just press your hips a little bit back, press your hips a little bit back, that's it, so you might be hovering here, you might even be more upright, that's fine. Or if you have a little bit more space, the hips might sink a little bit further down. But whatever is the case, don't worry about it. And then come back to tabletop position. Reach the right arm out in front. Firm up the belly, reach the left leg back. Not as high as possible, but just a little bit off the floor. Couple of breaths here, feel the core working to keep you balanced. Feel the breath. If it's too fast, see if you can slow it down a little bit. Inhale when we're moving. Exhale, pull elbow and knee together. Inhale, stretch along. Exhale, bring everything in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, contract. One more, inhale. Exhale. Bring the left knee behind the right. 
Use your hands to press the hips a little bit back. As soon as you feel a good challenge for your body, stop there. Maybe walk a little bit more just to see what is available here. But if you're more bright or you do just a little bit here, then that's perfect. That's perfect. A breath or two in this nice outer hip stretch. This is a good one to repeat often if you've got a little bit of time, which you probably do at the moment. And then slowly come forward. Place your elbows down at the front of the mat. I like to have the hands together. You can also interlace your palms and then just step one leg back and step the other leg back. Welcome to forearm plank. A lot of people think yoga is just a little bit of innocent stretches and meditations on the mat. You could be wrong. We are building a lot of strength, a lot of balance, and also flexibility in the body and in the mind. Just check that the hips are not hiking up too much or they're not sagging down. You want a good engagement in your whole front body. So the chest, the belly, front of the thighs, all the way to the toes. And then lower your knees down, just the knees. And then really slowly set the hips down and lift the chest forward to a sphinx pose. That's what we're gonna do a couple of lift offs, really simple like this. We're gonna be rounding the back, pull your belly up, pull the hips up, pull the thighs up. And then go the other way, like a spinal roll, the thighs, the hips. Come down, the chest goes forward. A couple more, chin to chest. Round your upper back, middle back, lower back. Slowly lower down the thighs, the hips. Slide the chest forward. One more, chin to chest. R upper back, middle back, lower back. Slowly lower down into Sphinx pose. Nice stop. Use the hands to press your hips up so they align directly above your knees. And then take your hands a big, big step forward and soften the forehead towards the mat. It might be hovering halfway, that's fine. Or it might be touching down, that's fine. Now melt the upper body down towards the mat. Feel the steady ground, the earth underneath you, which you can always come back to and use for our well-being and our balance. One more inhale. Exhale, sigh the breath out, soften more. Right, so walk the hands a little bit closer. Tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. So similar pose to the previous one actually. But of course now there's more weight on the arms, on the shoulders. There's gonna be more physical demand obviously. It might be a good idea to, to bend the knees a little, especially your first down dog like here. And use this to stretch the spine a little bit longer, the arms a little bit longer. Slide your hips up and back. If it feels good, you can always straighten the legs more. Stretch the heels down and away from the hips. And then start to tiptoe to the front of the mat, there's no rush. Tiptoe, keep pushing the hands down for as long as you can until you get to the front. Now hang down, bend your knees a lot more. Hold opposite elbows, soften the spine. Relax the head like a heavy weight, lengthening the spine even more. Good. 
and then release your arms. Start to slowly roll up the stomach, lower back, then the middle back, and then the upper back, shoulders roll back last. Do a couple of shoulder rolls, see how you feel this morning. And then place palms together at the heart, standing tall in mountain pose. It's a simple pose, simple standing pose, but treat it like a real pose. Press the feet down, ground them. Lift the kneecaps so the thighs are firm. Engage the buttocks slightly and the belly slightly, about 20-25% each. Lift the chest up, slide the shoulder blades down the back. Stand tall. This is the beginning of the flow part of our practice where we're going to be moving a little bit more continuously. For a moment, register the feeling of grounding and being in your body. Normally, you'd probably be at your desk right now sending lots of emails or traveling or sitting in traffic. But now there's a good chance that is not your reality at the moment. So here we go, a couple of half sun salutations. Lift your arms up to the sky, press your feet down. Exhale, fold all the way forward. I like to bend my knees, it just feels a lot better. Inhale, flat back, press hands to shins, slide the chest to the front of the mat. Exhale, use your belly, fold forward again, maybe bend the knees. Inhale, reach all the way up with the arms, place palms together, stretch up, exhale, hands to heart. One more like this, then we'll change it up. Inhale, how tall can you get? Really reach. Exhale, down the midline, bend your knees, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, is flat back, press your hands to shins, lengthen forward, forward, forward. Exhale, bend the knees again and fold down. Inhale, go all the way up, press your feet down and stretch up through the ring fingers. Exhale, hands come down the center to your heart. We're just establishing rhythm of breath here. Inhale, same rhythm, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, flat back, feel your back strengthen here. Exhale, now fingertips down, step your right foot back, lower the knee. Inhale, lift your arms, this is low lunge pose. Exhale, just do downward facing dog. Hold for a breath or two. If this is too much, you feel tired at any point, just lower the knees and come to child's pose, nice resting pose instead so i'm just offering this as an option for all the movements that come after this inhale here exhale step your right foot forward if it's hard just help with your hand a little bit if need be left knee comes down inhale lengthen the chest up exhale hands down step forward to the front Inhale, let's go all the way up, palms together as you reach. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Second side, same rhythm of breath, inhale. Exhale, like a moving meditation. Inhale, strengthen your back, lift high enough. Exhale, fingertips down, left leg back, lower the knee. Inhale, low lunge, lift the chest. Exhale, hands down, downward facing dog. A breath or two, feel the length in your spine. Feel the space your breath occupies inside you. Inhale, in down dog. Exhale, left foot forward, right knee down. Let your arms float up with the breath. Exhale, stepping forward, land softly and fold. Inhale to rise, go all the way up, reach, reach, reach. 
exhale, hands come back to center. Same thing, same rhythm, keep going, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, fold. Inhale, flat back, push the shins away with your hands. Exhale, right foot back. Your body starts to know the movements, lower your knee. Inhale, lift the arms, lengthen the chest up. Exhale, downward facing dog, just step back. A breath or two, you'll notice I'm skipping all the planks, the chaturangas, the cobras and upward facing dogs. We'll do a few of those later on. But it's not the main focus of this class. The main focus is to feel amazing while you move your body, perhaps in a little space. Inhale. Exhale, right foot forward, left knee down. Inhale, lift the arms, move slow. Exhale, step forward, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, let's rise, go all the way up, stretch and lengthen. Exhale, namaste, hands to heart. Second side, inhale. Exhale, let your breath guide the way. Inhale, your back gets stronger. Exhale, fingertips down, left leg back. Lower your knee. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, just to down dog. Stay for a moment. Child's pose is always available. Whether or not I remember to mention it. Inhale in down dog, prepare. Exhale, step left foot forward and right knee down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, enjoy. Deep breaths, the weather is amazing. You've got time at home, whatever is available, enjoy it now. Exhale, hands to heart. Keep moving, inhale, same breath, same rhythm. Exhale, down the midline. Inhale, rise, flat back. Exhale, slightly different, right foot back. Keep your knee lifted if it's possible for you. And then lift your arms, this is high lunge. Slightly different, there's a bit more demand obviously in this pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. When we get to down dog, rest. If you need to lower your knees down, that's fine. Inhale. Exhale, right foot forward, lift your arms, high lunge. Lower your hands, step forward and fold. Inhale, rise. Press feet to lengthen. Exhale, hands to heart. Second side, inhale, let the breath lift your arms up. Exhale, empty and soften. Inhale, lengthen the chest forward. Exhales, left foot this time. Keep your knee up if it's possible. And then strengthen the legs as you lift the arms up. This is high lunge. Lower your hands down for downward facing dog. Again, settle and ground. Inhale in down dog. Exhale, left foot forward to the left hand. Lift your arms, high lunge just for a breath. Lower your hands, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, let's rise, stretch up. Exhale, hands to heart, center. Close your eyes, stand tall at the top of the mat. Feel your breath, feel your energy after just moving like this for a couple of rounds. We want to do yoga for the rest of our lives. So that's why we need to move in a 
enjoyable, sustainable way. Inhale, let's rise up. This time, if you like to, lift your chest slightly higher, a little back bend. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, flat back, same thing. Now, change it up, step back into a plank pose. We've done the forearm plank before, this one is with the hands down. And just shift a little bit forward, how slowly can you lower down to the mat. Locust pose, reach your hands back, lift the chest, lift the legs. Exhale, push up and back to downward facing dog. I'm going to turn around so you see better. Step your right foot forward in between the hands. Turn the left heel down. Sweep the arms up and stretch the fingertips away from each other. Warrior two pose. I like the heels to be in the same line, but you can, you can play around with a lot of variations here. See what feels good in your body. And then just draw the front ribs a little bit in. We're going to be moving a little bit. Inhale, lift the arms, straighten the front leg. Exhale, soften down. Inhale, lift up. Really simple. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, soften the hips down, bend your front knee. Let's do one more inhale. Exhale. Let's reverse warrior this time. Left hand back, right arm lifted up, stretch the side body. And I'll change right elbow down to right thigh, left arm up and over. Inhale, reverse warrior, stretch the right side body. Exhale, right elbow down, stretch the left side body. Inhale. Just move with the breath, move in a way that feels amazing and sustainable. This is a feel-good yoga flow. A good daily staple of movements that you can do for a long time. Pause here. Left arm is reaching up. Nice. From here, I'm going to step back a little bit, moving into half moon pose. Left hand, left hip. Right hand, reach it forward and touch it down. If you've got a block or something under the right hand, it might help. And then stretch left leg up and back behind you. Once you feel stable, you can always extend the left arm to the sky. And just take a breath or two. This is hard, this is challenging. So see how the breath moves, how the mind reacts, and then just lower everything down and fold at the top of the mat. Hold opposite elbows, slow the breath down. Can you feel the breath move into the belly? Every time you inhale, the belly presses into the thighs. As you exhale, your whole system can soften. And then release your arms. Slowly start to curl up to mountain pose to standing. I'm going to turn around again. You can stay where you are. Here we go, hands to heart. Second side. Inhale, rise up. Maybe a little back bend at the top, lift your chest. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale is halfway left, flat back. Exhale, place the hands down. Step back to plank. A moment in plank, get strong in your midsection. Exhale, lowering down, take your time. Cobra pose this time, slide your hands slightly further back than the shoulders. Keep elbows close to your sides. 
and then roll the shoulders back, lift the heart up and back. Just go medium, not too low, not too high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale, step your left foot forward in between the hands. Turn the right heel down. Make sure your feet are placed in a solid and grounded way. And then sweep your arms up, warrior two pose. Stretch your way through the fingertips. Watch the left knee, it likes to collapse to the inside a little bit. Don't let it happen. Keep it above the left ankle. Now with the breath, with movement, inhale. Rise up, straighten the front leg. Exhale, bend the left knee a little bit more. Inhale. Exhale. Let the breath move you, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Reverse, right hand down, left arm up. Keep the front knee bent so you get a good stretch in the side body. And then left elbow down, right arm up and over, side angle. Inhale. Exhale, like a dance. Inhale. Exhale. You're telling a story with your breath, with your movements. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Nice. I'm gonna slide a bit back. Left hand is gonna reach forward a little bit to the outside of my foot. Right hand, right hip. When you feel ready, lift the right foot. And then if you feel stable, right arm can stretch up to the ceiling. Activate both legs. One is pushing down, one heel is kicking up and back. Take one more breath, slow down. Exhale, hands down, right foot next to left. Fold over the legs. from here reach your hands forward bend your knees and slowly come to sit on your mat and then turn forward to face you yes. actually no I'm not gonna turn forward I'm gonna turn sideways with a pigeon pose bring right knee behind your right wrist right knee behind your right wrist so the right knee is, is almost to the outside of the mat Stretch the left leg back behind you and then lift up onto the fingertips. Start a little more in an active way. Lift the chest, shoulders down the back. A breath or two here. Yeah, we've been moving quite continuously for about 30, 40 minutes. So now we pause in a few stretches which we're going to hold a little bit longer now you can lower the elbows down here you could stay on the hands as well if you like or there's another option to lower the head all the way down perhaps make a pillow with your hands if you do this and just settle in Remember just a few weeks ago where we had all these plans, events planned, work piling up, emails and trips to be done. Now all of this is gone, which can make us feel a little bit lost, confused, anxious, scared, whatever you're feeling, it's, it's okay. But the upside is that now we're doing yoga together on a random... Thursday morning at 9 a.m. The 
eternal, I don't have time for this, is likely to be gone. You've got time. So how do we use it for the best? How do we build some habits right now that are going to sustain us for many more years to come? Nice. Come up onto the hands again. Just move all the weight onto your right hip. Sweep the left leg around and place your left foot over the right. Over the right knee. Nice. Lengthen up. If this feels restricted in any way, then just stretch the, the bottom leg out in front. That's another option. Otherwise, hook right elbow over your left knee. Place left hand just behind you, the base of the spine. Lift your chest up and stay in a twist, seated twist for a couple of breaths. You're grounding down through your base. You're lifting up with the chest. And then in between you're rotating around the axis of the spine. Slowly release. We're gonna swap sides, left knee, place it down, right leg swing it back, so the left knee is almost to the outside of your yoga mat on the left. Stretch your right leg behind you in line with the right hip as best as you can, Just push the chest up, press the fingertips down, just for a moment to get that lovely length in the front body, in the front of the right hip, maybe the belly, maybe the chest. And when you feel ready, lower elbows or lower the forehead. Soften down, give yourself this, this little moment. A little break from whatever we had to do. All you need really is your body and a tiny bit of space. And maybe this is a good time to build this new habit of just rolling out your mat or getting onto a carpet and moving for, even if it's just five minutes or 10 minutes, just to move in a way that feels amazing and sustainable. To move in a way that makes the whole rest of your day and week a good bit better. We all know how we feel after sending emails for an hour or driving our car for an hour. And then now we can feel what it feels like to have done yoga for an hour. Compare these two and just see what you need a little bit more of. Come back up onto your hands, move the weight onto your left hip, sweep the right leg around so your right foot comes outside left knee. Again, if you need more space, just stretch the left leg out. Or if you're okay, bring left heel to your right hip. This time, the right hand will go behind you. Left arm, hook it over your right knee and just twist back. Couple of breaths here in this seated twist. And almost imagine the breath is exploring your body or the pose, the shape of the pose from the inside out. Where does it go? Where does it feel a bit stuck or restricted? Just notice. And then slowly release. Now stretch the legs out in front of you. Press your hands down to lift the chest nice and high. Activate the legs so you're pressing the knees down, you're pulling the toes a little bit towards your shins. If it feels like you need your hands for support, you can always do that. Even if it feels like you're leaning a bit back, it's okay. Or if you've got a little bit more space, walk the hands a little bit closer, lift the chest straight up, or walk the hands slightly forward over the legs. 
your toes are here, you're welcome to hold your toes. But um, this is not the goal of this class. We're moving to feel good. So if you're way up here, then not touching your toes shouldn't be a good enough reason to not feel good. We've also we've used our belt in the beginning, so if you want, you can always uh, wrap the belt around the balls of the feet and use this to, to extend your arms a little bit longer, as it were. All of this is fine. So soften down, maybe slide the hips slightly further back. Extend the chest up first, and if there's more space, allow the chest to reach forward towards the toes. Soften the shoulders, the neck, and the face. Just dropping in for a moment. We're right towards the end of this yoga session together. And just see how you feel at this moment. Have a look inside. Slowly rise back up. From here, just come into a comfortable seat, whichever pose you'd like to sit in to be more comfortable. I like to sit on the shins like this, but you can also sit cross-legged if you prefer. Then relax the shoulders, relax the hands down on the lap. And close your eyes for a moment. Take a moment to scan your body from the toes to the knees, from the knees to the hips, from the hips to the shoulders, from the shoulders down to the hands, and from the shoulders up through the neck into the face, just scan. For a moment, feel your whole body after your practice, from the toes to the crown of the head. Just whatever you find is, is perfect. Even if there's like a nagging feeling of a bit of fear, a bit of anxiety, maybe financial stress in the background, allow this to to stay there. We will work with this as the days go by, as we figure out how to move forward. But now, for now, let your body rest here. Allow there to be a weighted quality through your base. Now, I'd like you to fast forward, say 30 or 40 years, whatever you can imagine, to you being a grandfather, grandmother, or just a wise old person, let's call it, an elder. So picture yourself sitting in your, your rocking chair or whatever you'll be doing there, on your stoop, on your balcony, And imagine a little child sitting on your lap or at your feet. Just picture that child. It might be your grandchild, it might be another child. Doesn't matter. And imagine the child looking up at you with big, curious eyes, asking you to tell him or her a story. So you decide to tell the story of that time there was a global pandemic. Everyone's plans were just wiped out. Profits and businesses were struggling. Everybody had to stay inside and make a new plan. And how that was the time you started a couple new habits. Maybe you started to wake up and move your body. Maybe you started 
a meditation practice. Maybe you learned a new language or to play an instrument or to do a craft. Imagine you telling that child, since that, those couple of months, 30 or 40 years ago, until this day, I've done yoga on a daily basis or whatever it is, the new habit that you form. How will it make you feel in the future? How will that future you look back to you today and be grateful for what you started, for the seeds that you planted in this fertile ground? And take a deeper breath in. Sigh the breath out. You're welcome to stay a little bit longer in a seated meditation. Or you can start to lie down on your back for our final relaxation. I'm going to go with the second option. This is honestly my favorite yoga pose ever. So just place your body down and take a few moments to wiggle around and get really comfortable. Let your hands and feet flop out or flop down. Soften your limbs. If you like, for the next few breaths, you can breathe a little bit deeper and sigh the breath out just to release more tension. Imagine you're sinking lower and lower down into your mat, into the floor, into the soft earth underneath. And now can you get 10 to 20 percent more relaxed right now? I'm going to keep quiet for a couple of minutes. Just give yourself this well-deserved little break. If you've got no urgent plans right now, I recommend you stay a little bit longer. Just rest here for another 5, 10, 15 minutes. If it is time for you to move on and start to deepen your breath, Gently move your hands and move your feet. Bend your knees and roll over onto your side. You can slowly come up into sitting. Bring your hands together at the heart. 
touch your hands to your forehead, to your heart center, and bow to yourself to give thanks. Namaste everyone, thank you for practicing with me this morning or whenever you get to see this video. This was our second online yoga class, so send me some feedback in the comments, uh, send me pictures of how your whole practice went or where you are practicing at the moment. Feel free to share this with other people who might uh, benefit from a feel-good yoga practice. And also, uh, so many of you have asked how they can, how you can contribute or donate a little bit to making these uh, yoga sessions uh, possible and make them available for free to so many people who benefit. So if you'd like to make a donation for the class or for um, the month, whatever you are able to do, then I've added a link under the contact page on my website, yogaworks.co.za, or just send me a message and I'll you up. I hope you're keeping well in this global break. Stay strong, stay safe and I hope to see you again soon here. Our next online live yoga class is planned for Sunday morning on uh, this channel again at 9 a.m. I hope to see you then. Namaste.